Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are learning how to crochet the granny stitch in flat rows back and forth. Typically with granny we do a granny square which obviously is worked in a square, right? Sometimes you just want to work those grannies back and forth and back and forth and make a large rectangle without having to make it into a square per se. So this is actually a lot easier than it looks. We're going to create a foundation chain and then just work in these granny sets back and forth staggering them on top of each other every row. So this is quite easy, it's quite fun, it's very mindless, great for just sitting and watching Netflix or listening to Netflix as it were, and mindless crocheting. To start the flat granny stitch, we're going to have a multiple of four chains, so four, eight, 12, 16, 20, etc. And then we're going to add six onto that. So here I have 12 plus six, for 18 chains total. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to find the seventh chain from the hook. This one right here. Now I'm going to look into the back bar and I'm going to place three double crochets right in that chain. Two and three. And that is going to be our first little granny little cluster, right? So this counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And then we've got these three double crochets here. Now we're going to chain one, we're going to skip three chains, one, two, three, and we're going to place three double crochets in this next chain right here. chain one, skip three chains, and place a double crochet, or three double crochets in this next chain here. Now you only have three chains remaining. What we're going to do is chain one, we're going to skip two of those chains and place a double crochet in the final chain here. Just one double crochet. So like we said, when we started, this beginning right here counts as one double crochet plus a chain one. And so on the other side, we also have a chain one and a double crochet. So it's a mirror image on both sides. Now we are ready to start with row two. We're going to chain three, and this is going to count as a double crochet itself. I'm going to place two double crochets in this first chain space. Now we're going to chain one. We're going to skip these three double crochets and we're going to place three double crochets in this chain space here. And we're just going to do that all the way to the end. Chain one, three double crochet in between. This is such a fun and quick way to crochet. When we get to the end here, You'll notice that we have this one chain space left. We're going to do our chain one, and then we're going to place two double crochets in here, and then we're going to find the top of that chain, and we're gonna go into that. So this one right here, I'm gonna go into this. I think it just makes the edges look a little bit cleaner. We can look at this on the, gray, on the gray one from earlier. But I think that it just kind of makes these edges look a little bit cleaner, especially when you go and put a border on it later. But see how nice and straight this looks? That's what we're going for here. And that's why we put it in that top of that chain right there. All right, to start the next row, we're going to chain four. And this is going to count as a double crochet and a chain. So turn, we're gonna skip the first set here and we're just going to do three double crochet right in this hole, right in this chain space. Chain one, 
chain one, three double crochet in the next space. Chain one, three double crochet, pull my yarn, so you've got that, those three double crochets, we're going to chain one, we're going to skip the last two double crochets and we're going to put a double crochet in the top of our chain three here, right here. Just like that. And now we're ready for the next row and we're just going to repeat these two rows over and over and over and over again. So let's do the next row together. Chain three, this counts as a double crochet, turn. We're going to place two double crochets in this first chain space. And since that chain that we made, that chain three does count, that is going to be a granny cluster, right? So those are, that's like three double crochets right there. So chain one, three double crochet in the next space. Chain one, do it again. chain one. When we get to the end here, we're going to place two double crochets in the actual hole in the chain space, and then we're going to place our double crochet in the top of this third chain right here. So we're going to do, did I do my chain? Yes, I did. I'm going to do one, two double crochets. I'm going to find the third chain, right? So we've got one, two, three. I'm going to go right into that chain there like this. And that just helps to keep those sides nice and straight. So now we're going to chain four. You're just alternating these two rows back and forth. Turn and that counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So we're not going to do anything with these first three stitches. We're going to go straight into that first chain space and do three double crochets. If you wanted to you could use half double instead. That would work chain one, three double crochet. Pull my yarn again. Chain one, three double crochet. Chain one, and put a double crochet in the top of that chain three right here. And that is all there is to crocheting the flat granny stitch. I hope you do love this stitch. It's a lot of fun. It's very mindless. It's so easy um, and it's pretty too. It's something that would be great for like an afghan to put on their couch while you're watching a movie with the family. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to crocheting more with you soon. Thanks for watching.